trendy news. Among Biafra, Igbo presidency and restructuring, what does Indigo really need? Monique asks, if you are the type of person that regularly engages in political discussions with people from varied political and ethnic backgrounds like me, you would have come across this group of people who would be quick to dismiss the argument that an evil man or woman should become president of Nigeria by 2023 with the argument that Namdi that uh, Ndigo do not even know what they want. They will go on and on about how a different group of egos is agitating for Biafra, while another group is talking about restructuring, while the other is talking about Nigerian presidency of Igbo extractions. Sometimes it would be hard cracking up a logical response to this sneed, but I had been engaging this set of people why most of them are impossible to have a conversation with because they are partisan biases. I think any reasonable one would give my logic a thought even if they don't end up expecting it. Let us take a quick stroll around the three dominant agitations by Indigo. On Biafra, Biafra has gone beyond a mere agitation to an ideology, and every Igbo, no matter their political orientations or personal reservations about the approaches to this agitation, is a Biafra. This does not even necessarily mean that that every Igbo person wants a succession from the Nigerian Union. In fact, there is no tribe in Nigeria that has demonstrated more love or made more sacrifices for the continued unity of Nigeria than the Igbo. No tribe has individually or collectively contributed to the growth of Nigeria than the Igbo. Such a group of persons are not even the type that would want to succeed from a country they have invested so much in, in building, except they are con continuously made to feel unwanted. The average Igbo person who supports succession does that, does that, does that out of frustration. It is important to understand that Nigeria may actually be in a more precarious situation than in 1967, while the Oanese leadership is obviously inclined to more de democratic and political engagement in attempting to redress the perennial. But worsenly, particular pol political imbalance in the Union of Nigeria, the youth and majority of Southeast and also the Igbo youth are understandable, understandably impact, impatient towards the Nigerian state and are also ready to take their dates into their hands. Contrary to the popular not notion that the restructuring agenda was initiated and is being spearheaded by the Adveniferi and Southwest political class. This late Ikemba Odumeg Ojuku should actually be credited as the first and most popular advocate of restructuring. Restructuring was what Ikemba brought to the table in Aburi, Ghana when he attended a conference aimed at forestalling the civil war. 
he, on behalf of the people of the old eastern region, proposed to confidere conf system of government against the unitary military government I had or headed by General Yakubu Gowan Ojuku, like present day advocate of restructuring, was convinced that allowing all parts of the country to develop and secure themselves according to their capacities would re reduce mistrust, tension, and also the unnecessary tissues that have made Nigerian a laughing stock before the world. He also knew that rather conferring special privileges on one ethnic group over the other, a confederal system of government would force different sections of the country to look onward and discover special talents and assets within itself, with which they would be able to develop and govern themselves effectively. The Arnese Indigo Worldwide, which is the Appel Social Cultural Organization representing all Igbos, no matter what may be their political, social, and religious bi biases, as they have made it clear at different fora that for Nigerians to survive, the current economic and political structure must be reviewed and are renegotiable or renegotiated. The kind of restructuring the Oanese leadership is asking for may not be a total confederalism, but a true confederalism that makes different states or federation semi-autonomy units of federation rather than the incongruous contraption pass away as a federalism by asking for restructuring indigo are asking for a fair playing ground not just for themselves but for all nigerians so before restructuring to indigo means that the current nigerian constitution which makes south east the most politically disadvantaged region in the country should be overhauled. So, among the others, other things achieved an equi equilibrium or something close to it, governors should have control over the security of their states. Southeast states should be able to control whatever resources they generate and pay some agreed percentage as tax to the federal government southeast region should be semi independently governed by the government that can only be elected or removed by the people of the southeast tido dito other regions of the country southeast and every other region e of of the country should have equal representation in the federal government simply put Restructuring means justice and equity, and anyone asking for restructuring is asking for Nigerian survivor. It is therefore wrong to all this nation to the old notion that restructuring is a southeast agenda. Restructuring is a national agenda and not a southeast agenda. Concerning the presidency to the Igbo in 2023 remains the only option available to the Nigerian political class to convince the average Igbo man and indeed every Nigerian of good conscience that the Igbo can indeed get justice in this country. It is therefore the best and most effective way to resolve other demand of the Igbo. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Viewers, what do you think Indigo really needs? Do you know what exactly they need? According to what this write-up says, Igbo needs three things. They have Igbos and they are separated. They have, they have they separated themselves in three 
they, okay, they, they separated themselves in three places. The first one, first of one, uh, first the one of the uh, first Igbo are fighting for their friends. The second one is fighting for Igbo succession. Why the other one is fighting for restructuring Nigeria restructuring? Can you imagine? So viewers, what is your take on this? I will urge you to drop your comment below the comment box as well as clicking on the subscription button to receive notifications whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.